Hey guys, Grady's mom here with a quick gap haul. Uh, my mother-in-law actually last week um, had found out about the 40% off sale and generously offered to purchase him some spring clothing, summer spring clothing. Um, so I'm never going to pass up when someone in my family wants to help out with the cost of his clothing. Um, and because it was 40% off, you know, it was even more of a great deal. So um, again, I ordered everything online. Um, there are a couple things I'm going to return because you know how sometimes online you don't like it as much as you thought in real life. So I'm just going to jump right in. This is going to be a quick one. Um, and I don't know how great the lighting is. It's the evening right now. So hopefully you guys can see everything. The first thing I picked out online, um, it's a really, a really nice green and it's speckled very faintly. Um, and it's just a basic t-shirt. It just says Gap Italy. I thought it was really cute. They had a couple different um, country ones and this was $11. Again, my mother-in-law paid for this order, which was very generous. Um, second thing I got, again, these are all size three guys is this gap. Uh, it's just gray with a sort of Navy blue and white, uh, Navy blue piping sort of stripe with white and gray stripes, just very basic. This was $9. I just got a plain basic Navy blue uh, t-shirt. I figured it was, you know, a good idea to get some solids kind of thrown in there. And this was eight bucks. I got this soft, uh, Carolina blue t-shirt with just sort of a little, uh, helicopter on it. And this was referencing my, uh, pricing over here. This was $8. I got this polo here, which I really like. And it's navy blue and sort of a, I don't know, cranberry color, navy and cranberry. And this was $9. Has a little uh, gap, little teddy bear here. And it's really nice. It's nice and woven. I also got another polo here, which is olive green and ivory. This was also $9. I thought these would be nice with khaki shorts or jeans. Okay, guys, these, uh, these neck shorts are one of the two items that I think I'm going to return. Uh, online, these were worn. They were uh, shown being worn by a little boy online. Um, but in real life, I just don't really love them. Um, these were $17. I think they're normally like $30. It doesn't say. It just says gap.com on the tag. But I just don't love them. Um, and if I don't really love them, I, I really just would rather get something else. So I will be returning these. Um, but I still want to show them because everybody has different tastes. The back looks like this. I'm just not really impressed. Um, I don't really love the length and I just overall don't like the look of them. So these will be going back, but I did want to share the next pair that are going back. Um, are these here? They looked a lot cuter online. Again, um, online they're being worn by a little boy. Um, they just have like a patch here and some distressing here. The back just looks like this. They're kind of carpenter style. Um, but again, I don't love them. I don't love the length for one. Um, I don't love the fraying and it's nothing. It's not that I don't like distressed because I, I love the distressed look. I just don't love these. Uh, these were 1886. So these two will be going back, um, to gap and I'll just get $40 in store credit. Um, actually, I'll probably just pick something else out, but the two of these together with tax and stuff will be like 40 bucks. So I'd much rather just pick something out that I will love. Um, and the nice thing is in real life, you can see what it looks like. Online is always tricky that way. So again, these two will be going back. Uh, a pair of shorts that I do like that I'm keeping are these here. They are like a blue and black camo. I love camo in general. And see, these also have the fraying on the bottom, um, as do the other ones, but I just don't like the look of them on these. So these I will be keeping. I really like them a lot. Um, these were, I think, $17. And the back looks like that. So again, the same style with the carpenter style with the fraying. Um, but I don't know. The length just looks a little bit longer to me. I prefer a longer short on my son. Um, and I like them. So they're really cute. Um, also have the adjustable waist, which is a necessity because Grady's waist is more like a 24 month. And then he's, you know, he's tall and thin. The next pair of shorts here I absolutely love. They're my favorite shorts uh, that I ordered in this batch. 
They're just a khaki colored cargo. They have the uh, soft elastic second layer here. Um, and I just think they're really cute. Front looks like this. The back, I think they're gonna look really cute. They're a little wrinkled for being in the mail. But I think these are gonna look really cute, guys, with these two polos uh, right here. And I really like them. And then the last thing I got in this order was one pair of pants. They're a very light weight chino. And I really liked the color. Uh, they're kind of, I don't know, sort of a dusty rose, I guess, but still masculine. Uh, they're definitely, they might look pink on uh, camera, but they're actually a true, like more of a dusty kind of rose, faded rose color. And they're not girly at all. I'm very uh, particular that I don't want my son to look, uh, wear things that look girly. Um, and that doesn't necessarily mean pink, just kind of the style and the cut of things. So again, they're just a little chino. The back looks like this, typical chino. And these he can actually wear pretty much now because, um, you know, they're pants. And then, you know, wear them a little bit into the spring. And then hopefully by getting the size three, he might be able to even get a little bit of use out of them in the fall. And these were $9. So I thought that was a really good deal. So again, everything I got, these two pairs of shorts will be going back. And I'll get something new, a bunch of shirts. And all of this stuff together, everything I showed you guys was $150 on the dot. I think it was like $150.09, and that was with 40% off. So if you do the math, add another 40% on, you'd be looking at a lot more than that. Um, and again, my mother-in-law was very generous to offer for me to pick everything out, and she paid. So I think between this and my stuff that I got last time at Gap and a few miscellaneous things that I've picked up for him, he is all set uh, for the spring and the summer. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this Toddler Boy Gap haul. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.